right? Then we're going to do I component. We're going to do into I component. So minus 0 0.866 VB. And this will be equal to minus 3.732 Omega AB. All right. So now VB will be equal to 3.732.866, 4.309, omega AB. Okay. Then we look into J component. So J component is 0 0.5 BB. And then you have minus four plus by three, Omega AB. Did I make any mistake, anyone? Do you all spot anything? One mistake I make, you get a pint of beer. So now we're going to substitute VB into our equation. So 0 0.5, so VB is equal to what? 4.309 Omega AB equal to minus 4 plus by 3 Omega AB. So 0.4 times by 4.309, yes. So this is the I component, right? Right, then the J component, okay? It's okay, so 0.5 times by 4.309 is equal to 2.155 omega AB, and this is equal to minus four plus by three omega AB, okay? So 2.155 minus three minus 0 0.845 omega AB, and this is equal to minus four. So omega AB is equal to four divided by 0.845 is equal to 4.733. Four point seven three four, sorry, radians per second. Now, at the same time, we can calculate VB, right? So you can get four point three zero nine multiplied by four point seven three four. Okay, so this will be equal to four point three zero nine point seven three four is equal to 20.399 or 20.4 feet per second. Yeah. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is, as I said, don't worry if you get your direction wrong. Okay, so I'm going to show, it, uh, show you all again if you get the direction wrong. Okay, what will happen if you get the direction wrong? Okay, so over here, the next case, I think I better show you now. So in the term test, you should be having more confidence. So what if now this expression over here, okay, this expression over here, right? We are going to assume Omega A, B in the what? Clockwise direction. Okay. Let's say we, we make the, the, the wrong assumption. Okay. So rather me telling you like the equation will correct themselves, let's do it now to see whether is it true. Okay. So now what happened now when that's the case? Okay. I want to, I want you to observe this. So this now becomes what? Negative now. Okay. Now we make that negative. Okay. Negative means it's going what? What direction, everyone? Clockwise. Yes or no? So cos 30 again. So it's equal to minus 0 0.866 VB. Right. Uh, sine 30 is 0 0.5. So there's VBI, 0 0.5. VBJ 
and this is equal to minus 4j. Okay, now watch what's going to happen. K cross I should be positive, but because there's a negative sign over here, so it's minus 3 omega ABJ. K cross J, K cross J is negative. We have a negative, so it's positive. 3.732 omega ABI. Same thing, we deal with I component. Did we do J or I component first? Okay, let's do with I component. So I component now, you get zero, minus 0 0.866 VB. And this is equal to 3.1, 3.732 omega AB. Okay. So VB is equal to 3.732, 3.732, Seven three two divided by point eight six six. Okay, so it's minus four point three zero nine omega AB. Okay. okay. Now listen and listen properly. For this case, we are looking at one. The two equations we are both trying to solve is the first one is the one we've just written. So don't change any one direction here. Are we clear? Okay. Don't make mistakes like when I was young. I used to make this mistake a lot. Okay. So the next one, we go into the J component now. So next, we're going to J component. And the J component is what? 0 0.5 VB is equal to minus 4 minus what? 3 omega what? AB. Okay. So we're going to substitute. Did I do correctly? Okay. So we're going to substitute 0 0.5 multiplied by minus 4.309 omega AB is equal to minus 4 minus 3 omega AB. Okay. So over here, we get 0 0.5, 4.309 times 0.5, minus 2.155 omega AB. This will be equal to minus 4 minus 3 omega AB. Okay. So over here, you get 3 omega AB. So minus 2.155 plus 3 is equal to 0 0.845 omega AB is equal to minus 4. Omega AB is equal to minus 4 divided by 0.485 is equal to minus 4.733 radians per second. Now, down here, once this is its final value already, it's not a function, is it? Right. So now down here, then we declare that omega AB. Now, when it's negative, because we assume it to be what direction? Clockwise, yes or no? So now we write down omega AB is equal to 4.733. Hey, so come on, can not listening. 3, 3 radians per second. The correct direction is what? Anti-clockwise. Clear? Crystal clear? Yes or no? Okay, then from here, right, when you go to determine VB now, it's equal to minus 4.309. When you put omega AB, which one do you use? Yes. Yes, you use the minus sign. Okay. Why? Why you use the minus sign? Because you are trying to solve the equation using equation one and what? Two. Yes, ma'am. No. For the second time, for this case, we're going to assume omega AB is in the clockwise direction. Just to let you have confidence 
that if you assume wrongly, it all will all what work out. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean thing? It's serious, okay? It's not just a thing. Get it wrong, everything is down the toilet bowl, okay? It's not a thing. Okay, if not come for my tutorial on Friday, it's not just been to take the day. Okay, then you can have to do more. Okay, I'll do my office next time. That's everybody who's been asking over here. Okay, right. So from here, what we have now is we couldn't find. VB, so we're going to use what? Minus what? 4.1. 633. Are we clear? Okay, so 4.309 multiplied by 4. Point, or we use the minus 4.733. So this will be equal to minus 4.3, minus 4.309 times by minus 4.733. So we're going to have positive 20.40. Now, for this case, why is the direction correct? Anyone? Why is the direction correct over here? Why? Because we did not switch direction of the force, did we? Right? We call it as positive. I hope you all are comfortable with this. Bill, better today? Better today. Excellent. Okay. Right. And then the next form of the formula. So now, by knowing our omega AB, okay, now by knowing our omega AB, we are now going to apply A of point B is equal to A acceleration of point A plus by alpha cross R point B from point A minus by omega squared r b from point a okay again now be aware okay so the next thing that we have to be really cautious about is this okay let me get this diagram over right okay so we know I think I need a big diagram over here. Now we are focusing on what? Acceleration, yes or no? Right? So we have acceleration. So A, B, tangent. Okay. So we know there are again two components. One in the I. And the other one in the J. Okay. So what we have over here is again 30 degrees. So AB tangent or, or tangential, this will be sine 30 J. And then over here, minus AB tangent cos 30 I. Now we have another vector coming down. I'll use a different color. So over here, this is our what? A, B, N. Don't forget that. Okay, you are always going to have an A, B, N whenever you have a what? A motion. And this A, B, N is related to your centrifugal force. Are we clear? Okay, so from here, Again, watch where your sine and cosine are. Okay, I know it's simple high school stuff, but this is where mistakes are made. So we are aware that this is 60 degrees. So this will be equal to minus A, B, 
n sine 60 j and this will be in minus a b n cos 30 okay. so from here we're going to form the equation okay now like what i always tell you all whenever you do problems like this what's the most important thing yes ma'am Say 60 oh yeah you get a point and i understand you do not drink i'll buy you orange juice yes spotting the same mistake someone put up the same mistake thank you so much okay right so from here what we are going to do now okay we are going to write out the entire equation as i told you to do this question you have to be very what tidy and organized if you are not you're done okay let's do it okay so what we have is equal to minus a b p cos 30 i right then plus a b t sine 30 j then you have minus a b n cos 60 i and then you have minus a b n sine 30 j then after that this whole thing will be equal to what acceleration at point a i really can't remember minus 7 j i'm going to assume alpha going in the anti-clockwise direction because Omega is also in the what? Anti clockwise direction plus by alpha k cross rb dot a. So rb dot a, uh, what is the value? 3i plus by what? Plus by 3.732 j and then minus omega squared, which is 4. 734 squared and then multiply by the whole thing. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stop down here. Yes. Did I uh, sign 60 again? Yeah, getting lots of orange juice for me. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to stop over here. I'm going to let. The two